I have in front of me here a TV aerial and satellite combiner. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do with this is just briefly describe why we would use this particular product. But as the name suggests, it's for actually taking a feed from, we'll say, a UHF aerial here, which we typically use possibly for picking up the Irish terrestrial channels, and a satellite dish as well, which we typically use, we'll say, in Ireland for picking up the BBCs or other free channels, and feeding them into a single cable. Uh, and the, the reason that you might want to do this is that you might have a pre-wired house that only has one cable in the wall and you have, for instance, have a combo box. You want to feed both feeds down without running a new cable. And this combiner allows us to, to, com to combine the satellite and the terrestrial signal into a single cable. So let's just look at, at, at the aspects of this. Well, if we look here, there's two input cables here. So we have on this side, on the power pass side that has the high frequency range, this uh, corresponds to the, um, the satellite input. And the reason that the power pass is extremely important on it is that the power, uh, the power, the LMB on the satellite dish actually comes from the box itself. So it's essential that power can move forward in that way. Uh, and on the other side, with the lower range, uh, up to about 860 megahertz, uh, is the terrestrial side. Now, that range is more than sufficient to cover both the VHF uh, and um, the UHF spectrum, okay? So what happens is we feed the two cables in here and we feed a separate cable out and the output cable here will have both of those signals combined into a single cable. So probably the best way here is just to give a quick demonstration of how this would work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this cable here. It's coming from the satellite dish. So in this case here, for this demonstration, I just have a, an actual push on uh, F connector here. So we're just going to push it in here. So we now have the satellite dish connected. And next I'm going to take a cable here. Once again, it's terminated in an F connector. This time, um, an actual compression F that twists on when we put it in like this. And we just rotate it on like this. So now what we've done at this point is we actually have the feed from the satellite dish and the TV aerial combined into a single output here. So if we imagine this cable here that I have in my hand, as being cable that's pre-wired in the wall and running, we'll say, to our main television room. What we can do is we can connect this, the output from this combiner, and we can push it in here. And now, we'll say, on the far end of this cable, which might correspond into a living room, we can come along and we can split out this cable and feed the satellite feed and the terrestrial feed, um, maybe to a combo box or to a satellite receiver and a Serview Ready TV, for instance, okay? So, how do you split the signal back out? Well, an interesting feature, if we look closely again at these combiners, we'll see that there's an in and an out symbol on it. So you can actually use this combiner in reverse, and if you wish to, you could come along, and in the living room itself, you could use the combiner, uh, so use these as a pair, to both combine the signal into a single, and then just push this on and divide it back out, okay? Alternatively using a set of these, you could use this combiner in conjunction with this faceplate. So what I would actually do at this point here is, would split the signal back out uh, using this faceplate, so it hardwired in here, okay? Now, another way that this combiner can sometimes be used is that, um, this would be pretty typical uh, of how I've described to use it here in a, in a domestic uh, situation, but if we had a commercial thing like a hotel, a nursing home, something like this, we might possibly be using this, which is called a multi-switch. So what it does is it takes a feed of a Quattro LMB and a satellite dish for the UK channels, for the satellite channels, and it also feeds in a terrestrial, and it gives a combined terrestrial and satellite feed to, um, depending on the number of outputs, 8, 16, or 32 uh, different TVs. And at that TV, you need to split the signal back out to its terrestrial and satellite part. And you can use normally a, um, a faceplate, but also quite commonly, they would actually use uh, combiners like this to split the signal back out. Okay, so that's it anyway. Uh, hopefully, a relatively comprehensive overview of the um, satellite uh, and TV aerial combiner that's available on the tvtrade.ie website.